bring this breaking news story out of Opelaka, where several tractor trailers exploded and caught fire at a warehouse there. Thick black smoke can be seen from miles away. And traffic has really been affected in that area. So let's get right to Local 10 News reporter Carlos Suarez. He's live on the scene with a first-hand look. Carlos. Two things of note that is taking place right at this hour. Much of this firefight is over, but it's having a real impact on traffic in and around this part of Opelaka. Much of Northwest 42nd Avenue has been shut down because of all of the sheer number of fire trucks as well as firefighters that are on the scene here. Let's go ahead and take you up to Sky 10 and HD, which is live over the scene. This is where uh, earlier this afternoon, several tractor trailers exploded at a warehouse in Opelaka. We're talking about an area that's inside the American Fruit and Produce Company that is located along Northwest 42nd Avenue. Let's go ahead and show you some of the be uh, best piece of video that we got from earlier this afternoon. The firefight was intense enough that every couple of minutes you would hear one of these rigs explode and then you would see a large plume of thick black smoke go up in the air. Now we're told that the semis belong to a company that is called South Gold, but that it sits on part of the property that belongs to this food shipping business. Here now is a look at the firefight from the ground. At least a dozen tractor trailers were told 30 of them in all caught fire and burned, as well as several cars that were parked on either side of the fence that also caught fire. A quick recap of the number of firefighters that are out here right now. We're told that a total of 22 fire units were called out here and that dozens of firefighters are on the scene. Here now are people that were in the area as all of this unfolded. Basically, we're in the warehouses and uh, we heard a big explosion. It sounded like maybe gas tanks or something. And, uh, you know, it started catching fire pretty quick. Uh, we had to close down, put all the cars in because the flames were unbearable. They were just, you know, walking towards our business and we just had to close down. The most important thing is we have the roads closed from 42nd Avenue, 119th Street to 135th Street, and 37th Avenue from 119th to 135th. And it's going to be closed for a couple of hours. So I ask that anyone travels in those locations seek alternate routes at this time. All right, back up to Sky 10 and HD, which is over the scene. Miami Day Fire Rescue has been here for the better part of more than an hour. Two runways at nearby Miami Opelaka Executive Airport were temporarily shut down because of the fire and all of that smoke, but those runways have since reopened. Coming back out live, we're told that propane tanks and some fuel caused those explosions, although it is still unclear at this hour what sparked that fire. Again, the big headline, at least in Opelaka, where uh, things are starting to wind down, is that Northwest 122nd 8th Street has been shut down from Northwest 37th Avenue, and that extends all the way to Northwest 42nd Avenue. If we get any more information, we'll make sure to pass it along. But for now, we are live in the city of Opelaka. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News. All right.